guys, so we got a good question from Rob today. So he says that he's having trouble getting caught in Kimura grips. He recently had an in-house tournament match and he got caught in Kimura twice. He ended up winning the match, but it definitely gave him a lot of trouble. And so I'm gonna include that match in the video. And he's wondering if there's some tips that he can do to prevent this Kimura grip problem that he's having, because he said he also gets caught in it a lot during training. So Rob, thanks for the question, brother. And I was taking a look at your match and there's one big thing that you keep doing that's causing the problem, so we're gonna take a look at that and address that. I'll also give you a couple options or things to think about if they get the Kimura grip. So the biggest problem that, that I saw, brother, is that you were grabbing a lot out here. So you were letting your hands venture way too far. Again, think about with the position we're in, we are not in a good position. If I'm inside of the guard, I am in a defensive position. And as such, if you're in defensive positions, you have to play compact and tight. Because any time my arm becomes extended, this is an opportunity for my opponent, okay? So you, you don't, like there was one point where you were hugging like this, there's one point where you're hugging, do this. Don't do any of that stuff. There's no reason for me to be up here when I'm trying to pass guard. My job inside the guard is to break this damn thing, okay? So we should be posturing here. If my hands venture back, I bring them back here. And so that Kimura happened when you were grabbing the first one, it happened when you grabbed the wrist and you were holding it out, which allowed this person to bump up and, and there it is, right? Now you can sit up because you're basically opening it up. So. If he lets us, if he starts bringing this arm out this way, let it go. Just come back in. Don't don't even don't even mess with it, right? We'll bring it back in. If he comes back in, boom, then we can grip. Because you were doing a good job of pinning the arm down, but it was when that person let that arm come out, just let it go. And when he comes back in, then we grab it again. Okay. Uh, second thing, when you were in half guard, because you got caught in the Kimura and then you were in this half guard position, make sure that you one, you tuck that foot or that excuse me, that hand under your a hamstring, your upper groin area here, and also put a lot of pressure. So I'm gonna take my shoulder in this position and I'm gonna push it right into his armpit to keep pressure because there was one point where you had the, 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 the grip here, but you were putting your head down and making space and this allowed that, him to twist. So instead, I wanna put my shoulder down into him tight and I put my hand on the hip. I'll show you the hip grip in just a second and keep my weight on him. So now if he tries to move, it's very difficult to move because I've got control of his hips and I'm putting a lot of pressure into his, his shoulder here. Um, also guys, another thing, I, it's a tricky grip. I've got a video, I'll include that to have a better explanation, but there's a really neat grip, uh, not grip break, but a counter to the Kimura. You get here and you can, as you drive your shoulder in, you can come up and touch your chest right here. And basically, you, it, it'll, it, it, it's weird. It's one of those tricky moves, but again, it can break the Kimura grip there, okay? So let's go through them again. We'll go the other side this time. So again, Rob, when you're here passing the break, or breaking the guard, play compact. Worry about posture, worry about setting up your guard breaks. Don't worry about being forward. There's nothing good for you this way, okay? Pin this arm down, don't do that. We pin it to the body. If he starts to trail out, let it go because if we go out here and reach, he's sitting up for the Kimura. Now, again, if he does get it, and we're in this position, tuck that hand in the, uh, <laughs> again, if he gets here, tuck the hand, uh, inside the groin there, drive that shoulder forward to keep a lot of pressure. Look how close I am to him. My hand, I control the hip here. So if he tries to roll or move around, it's very difficult to. And if I can do it, take your hand, keep, continue to drive your shoulder even more forward and take your hand and try to come up and touch your, uh, your chest. Boom, there's a, a little break there. Um, it can turn into a submission if he doesn't let go. Rob, that would be my advice, brother. Definitely consult your coach with the match. And, I mean, I'm sure he was there. Um, look over everything with him and see what they have to say. But it, the biggest thing, man, is play compact. Don't let your arms be overextended in that guard breaking position. If you do get caught, be very uh, slow. Don't be in a rush. Tuck that hand into the inner groin there. A lot of pressure on the shoulder. Make sure that hand stays secured. And those would be the two biggest tips. And then I'll, like I said, I'll link the video where I'm doing that reverse keyboard grip there. So hope that helps, brother. Thanks for the question.